We're gonna do some tteokbokki the Korean vegan way. I got inspired by this recipe and it's pretty easy to make. Prep carrots into pieces like this, cut half a zucchini, and then cut half moons. We'll cut a quarter head of cabbage like this. To prep the bell peppers, I like to roll it along the cutting board while cutting into it, then making strips. Next up, cut some shallots. And really mince that garlic. I'm just messing around here with the garlic, but you gotta keep cooking fun, right? In the meantime, soak a few pieces of dried shiitake and kombu for about 20 minutes. I have small pockets of rice cake here that were super tasty. The texture was on point. Rinse them in some cold water and set them aside. Get your favorite non-stick pan over medium heat and a generous amount of avocado oil. Then in goes all the veggies and aromatics. We'll cut the tomatoes up and add those into the pan once those veggies are softened. Touch of salt to bring out all the flavors. Then we'll get those pockets of rice cake into the pan and toss really well. Add in some gochugaru chili flakes and a tablespoon of gochujang paste. Remove the dried mushrooms and kombu and get that mushroom broth ready to add. Let this all simmer for about five to seven minutes or until the dopoki softens up. For finishing, we'll add some vegan fish sauce. 24 Vegan is the best brand for this by far. Lastly, the cabbage will cook for another couple of minutes and serve it up to enjoy. Check out all of that juicy sauce and pockets of dopoki. This is an umami dream of flavors. You got the sweetness from the carrots, you got that nice bell pepper flavor. All the veggies work nice together. Those juicy little tteokbokki's that I got, oh, these are like pouches of little rice cake joy. Then you got that umami from all the tomato. The Korean vegan strikes again. This is a good recipe. Go get her book. It's bomb.